and welcome back to my channel. So today we are in the kitchen, of course, but we're not exactly cooking. I mean, we are, but we're not. We're baking. I am baking up some good stuff today. So I'm in the house and I'm just kind of like bored. And you know, sometimes like cooking or baking, it just makes you feel a little bit better. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. I am going to be making some banana bread. I've been seeing a trend. I don't know what's up with the trend, but everybody's making banana bread. So I figured I would just hop on the trend too. Um, I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies and some sugar cookies. So if you need a treat or you just wanna watch me make something sweet, stay tuned for this video. So as you can see, I have all of my ingredients and we're about to hop right into it. So the first thing that you're gonna need for this is a half cup of butter, one cup of sugar, two eggs, four bananas, a cup and a half of plain flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. So for me, I always add a little bit of honey, a little bit of brown sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon to mine. That's not in the recipe, that's just kind of what I do when I'm making banana bread. Have my bowl. So the first thing that it says we're going to do is we're gonna cream together the butter and the sugar. So that is half a cup of butter and one cup of sugar. All right, so now that we kind of have that together, the next thing it says is to crush the bananas, add the eggs and some of the vanilla extract to it and then mix together well. So I use really, really ripe bananas. I was actually waiting for these bananas to get as ripe. They're still not perfect, but they'll do. Yeah, they're not as brown as I want them to be but I couldn't, I didn't want to wait forever to make this and I had been really wanting some banana bread. So um, yeah, the darker the banana, the better it'll be, but these will do. We need two eggs, one and two. I'm just gonna kind of mash this together. So now that we've got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and add the flour, the baking powder, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of, like I said, the brown sugar and cinnamon. Here's my flour. Add a little bit of cinnamon. And really, I just kinda like eyeball it. And a little bit of brown sugar. And now we're going to go ahead and mix together our banana mixture with our dry mixture. Okay, so I'm done mixing up the banana bread. I went on ahead and I preheated the oven to 350. So now we can put it in our little um, bread pan and I'm just gonna have this kind of sit to the side. I'm gonna wash up a couple dishes and then I'll be back to make some chocolate chip cookies. Alrighty, so our oven is preheated. We have gone ahead and put our banana bread in the oven. And we're going to set the timer for 60 minutes. So as you can see, we have everything that we need for our homemade chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so now we're hopping into our chocolate chip cookies and what you'll need for that is two sticks of butter, two thirds cups of sugar, two thirds cups of brown sugar, two large eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a fourth teaspoon of salt, one cup of chocolate chips. Me, I'm using half a cup of the peanut butter chocolate chips because I'm also gonna put those in there. And that's it. And so we are about to stir all this up together so that we can pop these in the oven. And what makes me so happy about making these cookies is I've already made them before. So I already know how good they're gonna be and they don't take that long to cook. So I'm super excited. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and add our butter and then we're gonna mix that up for about two minutes or so just to kind of soften it. So we're adding our two thirds cups of sugar, two thirds cups of brown sugar, we're gonna add our vanilla extract. So now that we've gotten our wet ingredients together, we're gonna go ahead and start with our dry ingredients. So we're gonna add our two and a half cups of flour. So here's two cups. 
so we got our two and a half cups of flour, our teaspoon of baking soda, we got our baking soda, and I'm just gonna kind of mix this up together really quickly. Now what we're gonna do is add half a cup of this to the mixture at a time, and we're gonna mix this all up together. Okay, so now my favorite part is to add our chocolate chips. Okay, so now we have combined our ingredients for our chocolate chip cookies. So for me personally, we're gonna go on ahead, um, get our sheet pan out and make our cookie balls. So for me, I have a little bit of flour on my hands as I'm kind of like forming my balls just so that they're not like super duper sticky. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my pans and then we're going to make our chocolate chip cookies. Alrighty, so we're gonna turn this into some ooey gooey, super good chocolate chip cookies. So now that we have all of our cookies on our pan, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the refrigerator, yes, the refrigerator, for about 10 minutes, and then we will pop them in the oven. I ran out of butter, so we are walking to the store um, because I still need some butter to make my sugar cookies. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to walk and talk with you guys. How are you guys doing? How's your week going? Um, is your state still on like a lockdown? I know for the state of Georgia, they are encouraging people to go out. Um, I'm not really doing that. I mean, I'm going out, but I'm going to the grocery store, but I'm not going like to the mall or to stores or anything like that. But yeah, so comment down below how you're doing. It actually feels really good outside. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back, as you can see. And when I tell you, when I opened the door to my apartment, I just got like a whiff of banana bread smell. It smells so good in here, which is why I love baking and just like cooking in general, but definitely baking because my home just smells, it just smells so good, like, oh my gosh. And the banana bread is looking pretty good as well. So that's a plus. Um, as I was at the store, I just left the cookies in the refrigerator. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those in for about eight minutes, I believe. And now that I have some more butter, I'm gonna start making the sugar cookies. All right, so we are almost done. Now that I got my butter and whatnot, we're gonna go on ahead and mix up the stuff that we need for the sugar cookies, pop them in. Oh my gosh, the banana bread. It doesn't look like how it normally looks. I really think it's because the bananas that I used, they were not ripe enough. But the banana bread is still good. Shockingly enough, normally I have to keep putting my banana bread back in the oven um, because sometimes when I check it, it's a little gooey, but it's not gooey. So I'm hoping that it's nice and moist and that it tastes good. Um, my chocolate chip cookies came out and they look amazing. Um, so I'm just kind of letting those cool. So the sugar cookies aren't gonna take us long to make and then they're just gonna be popped in the oven. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so I'm coming to you with the ingredients for what you'll need for these homemade sugar cookies. So you'll need two and three fourths cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, one cup of butter, one large egg, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two teaspoons of brown sugar, and then another fourth cup of sugar to roll the um, cookies in. And that's it, so let's hop right into it.
Alright, so we are almost done. As you can see, I just popped the cookies in the oven and I still have a lot of leftover batter. So as you can see, I'm not using all of the batter that I have. You can freeze this cookie dough so that it doesn't seem like you have to make so much at one time. So that's probably what I'm going to do. These are also good. Well, at least I know for the um, chocolate chip cookies that if you want to make like a mini cookie cake, Using the leftover batter for that is really, really good as well. So if you don't want to like sit and make all the balls, you also can make like a mini cookie cake and then just kind of like cut it up into pizza slices. That's always fun too. So I will come back to you and show you what all of the finished goodies look like. Alrighty guys, so this brings us to the end of this video. As you can see, I have my goodies right here. I can't wait to try them. All the recipes will be in the description box below just in case you wanted to go back and reference the original recipe that I use. Um, I hope that you guys are still continuing to practice social distancing, washing your hands, you know, all of the normal stuff that we should be doing anyways. I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. So, let's see. As you can see, I have my milk. I don't have a lot of it. Probably need to eat some more. So, the first cookies that I'm gonna try are my chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Mm, these are so good, like, so I'm just gonna try a bite, cause after I get off of here with you guys, I am gonna go relax, watch some Netflix, eat some of my cookies. So here are the sugar cookies that I'm gonna try, and I've never made these before, so yeah. Yes, I am so proud of myself. And then last but not least, we have our banana bread. I will tell you, this is super moist. You can kind of see that. Let's see how it tastes. It is really good. I will say that if I had riper bananas, it might be a little bit better. But overall, all of my bakings came out pretty good. So again, if you want the recipes, everything is linked in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.